Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog here in Vietnam. I'm very excited today because, well it's bittersweet actually, it is the last day I am out exploring here in Vietnam but I'm very excited because we're going to a place called Ninh Vinh and this was a recommendation by someone in my Contiki Vietnam Experience tour group which ended last week so I've been on my own for a week now. It's maybe an hour or so. I actually have no idea how far away it is from Hanoi. I booked this tour just online through Get Your Guide. I can leave a link in the description box down below for you. It's been a while since I last held the vlogging camera with the microphone and everything so I'm just getting used to the weight of this. My arm is aching already. But yeah so far all of the scenic places we visited in Vietnam have just been absolutely breathtaking so far. If you watched my previous Vietnam vlogs from the group tour maybe you have also fallen in love with Vietnam just as much as I have with just all the mountains and the lakes, the sea it's it's beautiful. I had no idea that Vietnam had all of these picturesque places and that's another benefit of traveling you just get to appreciate the beauty of the world so much more. So I'm about to leave it's almost 7 30 7 17. I'm using my iPad actually because <laughs> in the past week since I've been alone there have been quite a few incidents while I've been here in Hanoi. Of course by no means am I complaining you know but sometimes things just happen in life even the crappy things but I still believe that every obstacle is redirection to where your soul is meant to be the best place and to learn lessons from it's always for the ultimate high school when you can see the lesson in it so about a week ago well it was the 2nd of August it was just a very memorable day I had to move out of my Airbnb here in Hanoi because of the very 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 loud construction noise I couldn't edit any videos while I was there so I switched over to another hotel they didn't have my room ready so I moved to another hotel that room wasn't ready and it was just a whole bunch of different things happening but it's all good because I'm here now in this beautiful hotel room it's very very cute there's a nice bed there very comfortable but then later that night I went out to dinner with one of my friends I made on the Vietnam tour and we're walking by the lake I was taking some photos with this camera with my shoulder bag just on my shoulder and my phone was in the front pocket which now you know don't do that I've been doing that the whole time I've been in Southeast Asia and there have been no problems but you never know it's always best to keep your valuables inside somewhere very safe and in front of you when you travel I just felt a sudden movement near there I looked down and my phone was gone <laughs> my phone was definitely there and I knew immediately that there was a pickpocket who had taken it and it was gone forever even as someone who's very very highly intuitive I knew there were two people around me who could have been the suspects but you know it's gone and to be honest in the the moment I kind of had a blank but then I was just completely detached I honestly just accepted it in the moment that it's gone and there's no use worrying about it or getting so frustrated or angry because I can just get a new phone and I'll just claim the travel insurance oh my arm yeah, this camera is just getting pretty heavy now. If anything, I was just a bit shaken that it happened to me, but my friend Z, which I'm just so incredibly grateful for, she stayed with me the whole night to file a police report as well, and she's just so sweet, so kind, I'm forever endlessly grateful. I really don't know what I would have done without Z because she still had her phone with her. But yeah, thankfully I didn't lose anything important because my phone was all backed up, so before you travel, always make sure your phone is backed up. All of the good photos I took were on this camera as well, so I didn't lose anything there you can always re-download their apps so no real loss honestly I feel like I gained so much out of it and it seems really funny to say but I really really feel like this was just a blessing in disguise <laughs> like it sounds really really funny to say but it honestly is one of the best things that has happened to me on my travel journey so far having my phone stolen because I've been without it for the past week and it's been life-changing I'm sorry I have to keep changing my hands but it's just getting heavy but yeah I really feel like I've been a lot more present and mindful a lot more productive as well because I don't have a phone to constantly check it's not the first thing I look at when I wake up it's not the last thing I look at before I go to sleep as well it's been really really freeing so I'm actually really grateful it happened I know that I manifested it in a way and I had to learn lessons from it so even though it wasn't ideal 
everything's fine. I've survived perfectly fine without a phone and I still have my iPad at least. In the past week I've just been editing videos. Oh and also the other day, long story short, I had to spend a day in hospital as well. I had a fever, got some blood tests done but I'm well now, well enough to go out on a day trip so I'm so so grateful for my health. Don't take it for granted. But yeah anyway, the tour guide is about to pick me up so let's get an MD. It was around a two hour drive from Hanoi and we had a little rest stop on the way but we're here and I'm so excited. It is incredibly beautiful, very very hot I have to say and you can use this hat as kind of a fan as well. They gave this to us as a free gift. I haven't actually worn one of these Vietnamese hats before but I quite like it. It's very very comfortable, it fits perfectly and if you take it off use it as a fan which is super nice and convenient it is a beautiful day blue sky all around and we just came to a temple here and the first off we came to here are two temples which are dedicated to previous kings of Vietnam and this place used to be the capital of Vietnam before it was moved to Hanoi it's very lush and green a lot of nature which as you may know I love these are my favorite kinds of places so I'm learning a lot today and actually that's another benefit of losing my phone for this past week because I've been a lot more present and I feel like more connected to the people around me too because I'm not on my phone and that way I can talk to people more and if I need to ask for directions I am actually forced to talk to people as well so it's a really really good thing there are honestly just <laughs> positives to losing my phone. There's a gate there this place is just amazing so beautiful, I love it. I feel nice and bright and sunny as well because I'm wearing a yellow top. Every time I wear clothes now, I've been wearing a lot of yellow recently. The intention to balance my solar plexus and sacral chakra so you can make intentions with your clothing as well. Just went on a bike ride now just around the local village here. Got mine there. <laughs> it kind of feels like in Hoi An when we did the bike ride through the town there and it is so so beautiful. As you can see the scenery behind me. It's amazing. I feel like the best word to describe this place is tranquil. Just so tranquil, serene, beautiful, peaceful. And there are lots of lily pads on the lake over there too. Lots of lotuses. Lotus is definitely one of my favorite flowers. I love the symbolism it has as well that it has to grow through the mud to bloom.
We just had lunch at a very nice buffet restaurant with lots and lots of options, lots of vegetarian, lots of veggies. It's very, very nice. And I guess the best way I can describe how hot I am is... So the chairs were all wooden in there and when I sat on the chair it felt like I was sitting on a wet chair because I'm wearing shorts at the moment and just my whole body is just covered in a layer of sweat. Just how it is and it's all good because we're having a great day. I feel like it makes a lot more memorable as well. It's just really funny when I think about it like just really trying to make this as fun as I can as well. We're here, we're about to go on a boat ride now. It's around two hours. I'm gonna go through some caves as well. This is definitely something I really wanted to do here in the Indian. <laughs> We're about to enter the caves now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> Such a lovely day there. And tip, I actually brought a sarong with me, so covering my legs a bit. I actually forgot to put on sunscreen today. I've got to learn from my mistakes, so thankfully I've got the sarong to cover my legs. Oh, you do? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, Saviour. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> to this lake but I'm just speechless it is incredible like look at the color of this water it's like is this even real oh my goodness I've never seen anything like this before I just did not expect this at all this is amazing this can speak for itself I'm just speechless Entering another cave now, it seems very alert. one of the coolest things I've done here in Vietnam. <laughs> We're out to the other end now. This place is just insane. It is so picturesque. I just can't stop taking photos or videos. It is incredible and there's finally some cloud now as well i'm covering my sarong like all over me <laughs> i just feel like jumping into this lake though it is seriously hot that is refreshing look at all this color like what
Cave number three. Three or four now? Three? <laughs> They're doing a really good job. So please excuse the red face for the rest of this video but we just got off the boat and we're walking around an island now and the, the, apparently this is where they filmed one of the scenes from King Kong. I haven't watched that movie but apparently this is part of it which is really cool and look at the scenery. Oh my goodness I just can't get over it. Like this is magic. Magic and beauty of Mother Earth that she has gifted us and I'm so grateful to experience this and to have experienced places like this over the world. Oh, they have huts over there. So we've made it to oh, a little booby there. So we've made it to our last destination for this day trip for today, which is the Hung Mua Cave. So it's not actually a cave, it's or maybe there is, but the main part of this is climbing up to the top of a mountain. The tour guide said 500 steps to get to the top, and you can see it just in front of me there. You can see the big dragon and the big pagoda at the very top of the hill as well. I am actually not gonna be climbing it today. I really feel like I've just pushed my body too much over these past few weeks and I'm just listening to my intuition so I'm just gonna stay in this little village while the others go up to the top I'm sure the view would be absolutely amazing of Nim Bin but I really need to take care of my body and not push it too hard this hat is coming off can I adjust it using these things here I don't know what's going on oh it's just <sighs> just before you enter up to the stairs to go to the top of the hill there is a little village here and it's so so cute and insta worthy you have to say go this way you can walk along these bridges they built you can walk into these huts here and just rest and chill it's so cute let's go this way wow it actually feels like a wonderland I feel like an Alice in the Wonderland you can go on these little steps too. I just trust that they're being held up by something otherwise I'll just fall straight into the pond. Wow. Oh, there is such a nice view. Min Bin has just been absolutely incredible. So glad and grateful that I came here. It's an amazing way to end my Vietnam trip. I've got my selfie chair. I am just going to, oh, there's nothing to lean on. I feel like because I've been out in nature all day today, I feel really aligned with my higher self. And that higher self is just pure joy and happiness in this present moment just enjoying this trip and because I don't have a phone I haven't been looking at a device I've just been talking to people in my group and filming and when I'm capturing photos which I haven't been able to stop all day I feel like I'm letting the universe work through me because it's one of my passions I love photography I love creating videos and just being out here is a gift life is a gift you just don't know what tomorrow can bring like I experienced the other day I woke up with a fever it was quite really really quite painful including the blood test I had to do that reminded me to not take my health for granted and to cherish what you have today yeah I'm just going to enjoy this beautiful view it honestly brings me so much joy to know that through my vlogs you feel like you are traveling as well so I really hope that through this video you feel like you're right here as well with me.
For the past few days, I've been trying to figure out how to properly close this curtain, but each day gets easier and easier. You just have to toggle the strings. I don't know, but we did it. And so it's around, I think, 7.30 now. We just came back, and it's been a really, really great day. Oh, I have a little... Mm. That's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my face anyway. I need to give it a nice cleanse. I might go get some dinner now as well and then I'll come back and have a nice shower. Hanoi is a really great place to just walk around and explore without a plan because there is actually so much to do here which I didn't know but I'm currently staying in the old quarter so there's more old houses here but there is a lot to Hanoi which I really love. It is quite chaotic, a bit too chaotic for me to be completely honest. Let's hop on the bed. I think out of all of the places I've visited on my solo travel journey so far, Vietnam has definitely been the most memorable in so many ways. I went on a group tour here, made some lovely new friends that I never expected to and I visited so many incredible places. And of course I lost my phone and I had to go to the hospital. That is travel and I want to show you authentically all sides to travel. It's not always what it seems on the outside. There's a lot of planning and things happen. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, do give it a thumbs up so I know and subscribe to join our beautiful community for more upcoming vlogs and videos as well. I am leaving Vietnam in two days and my next destination is a very 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 special one so I'm excited to bring you along once again. Take care beautiful friends and I'll see you next time.